is just practice brush strokes. One brush can do a whole lot of things. This is a fairly expensive brush but it's a good brush, it holds a lot of water and I can go do a brush stroke like that, like that and even if the tip's good, like that. Now once I've done those then I need to learn to do <coughs> some calligraphy and just playing around doing, notice that there's big brush strokes and small ones <coughs> so if you just play around with that and then all you do is you go, you learn to do this and we can <coughs> end up with a tree but it's all to do with manipulating the brush from the one brush from doing different brush strokes and even just on a page and a, and a lot of it too has got to do with the pressure where I'm putting pressure on and here I've got no pressure it's just very fine so it's all got to do with this and manipulating you've got fingers and you've got a um, wrist here and you can do that it's the same as in drawing if you're drawing with a pencil you've got thick lines and thin and if I'm doing drawings you can wriggle around and get beautiful pencil lines in your drawings. So it's the similar principle and with a pencil because it gets flat on one side you'll get that and then it will be sharp so you can get beautiful lines in your drawing and the same applies with your watercolour, this is a liner brush and the same applies with that and just practicing like this, it's um, almost Chinese watercolour um, well it probably is <laughs> Um, where they do lots of washes and then sometimes what they do is they will just get a wet brush and soften some of the edges while the painting's wet and that's another just part of the technique of